hey my babies what's up it's mother and welcome back to my channel in today's video i was just trying out like some new products and one of the products that i tried out was like um what do they call this thing like a extended battery source i can't think of the right word for it but that's what i got and up oh, continuous battery source and it just runs and runs and runs so i was able to record without my camera dying which is a real big like downer for me which is the reason why i haven't recorded in a while sick of trying to get into the groove of getting my looks together and then the camera died so i'm over it and this actually worked really really well so yeah i also tried out um the new juvia's place well they aren't the new juvia's place palette but they're new to me uh warrior and the saharan blush palette i tried those two out i wish i could get my hands on the juvia's place foundation and concealer hopefully that's the next video coming up and um just a couple new products that i got that i wanted to try out so yeah, I hope you babies enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Support assist, you know what I'm saying? That would be nice. You know, I ain't about to go too deep and solid out, but it is what it is. Support us, hit that subscribe button down below, please, and thank you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right on into the video. See you babies in my next one. Hey babies, what's up? Long time no see. So the first new thing that I'm gonna be trying out is this NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Black. This is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. Super easy. Everything should be super easy like that. So it comes with a spoolie end and then you also oh wow that's a little weird I wasn't expecting for the tip to be like that hmm. yeah it's rectangle-ish so yeah let's go ahead and give this a try oh my brows need to be done so bad but I'll get that done when I get my nails done because I'm missing a nail right now Whatever, whatever, mind your business. Super creamy. Um, it's not giving me the color payoff like I thought. It's looking more gray. Yeah, it's looking a lot more gray than black. It's a brow. The spoolie is A1 though. Dark side. It's like a little patchy on like my hairless areas. Just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop um, Contour Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm using a Coastal Scents Concealer Brush. I got this years ago in a makeup brush set, but I will link the set down below that I got the brush from. Super affordable. Really, really good. Oh, wow, well, it's kind of light. Kind of light. down a shade for comfort for comfort I can definitely go down a shade for comfort um. oh I cannot 
wait till I finish my makeup so I can have some shrimp alfredo. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look half bad. The color. It blends well. It looks really nice. Hmm. Super nice. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blank out my lids, do one eye, and then come back and show you how I do the other one. Alrighty, baby, so I'm back with an eye. Super cute, right? Total dreamsicle vibes. First things first, I'm gonna blank out my lid with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C12. And we blank out our lids to give ourselves a base, of course, for the eyeshadow to adhere or stick to. The lighter the shade, the more it makes the color pop. You also wanna give yourself a blank canvas. So as y'all can see, I have like raccoon eyes, so to say. It's just like skin discoloration. It's hereditary on my end. Granted, if I don't get enough sleep, it gets a little worse, but it's all right, you know, it's mine. I live with it. And I'm going in with the Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just patting that in, blending that out. And I wanna keep my lids looking like downward because if I look up too early before I allow it to like really set in and dry down a little bit, it starts to crease up. That's the last thing that we want is creasy lids. Now I'm gonna be jumping into the Warrior Palettes by Juvia's Place, and I'm gonna be taking the shade Cano, K-A-N-O, on a Morphe M504 brush, and I'm just going to be putting that as my transition shade. And I'm putting that right above my crease and a little bit inside. But you wanna focus more so on that like brow not the brow bone, but a space in between your crease and your brow bone. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And if you need to, you can raise your brows to really get into that crease. It helps a lot. It helps a whole lot. Next, I will be going into the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 which is like really, I feel like it's like blushes <sighs> and maybe a contour, maybe that's a contour. I don't know, they're eyeshadows today. So yeah, I'm going in with the shade Neo on a Morphe M513 brush. And I'm putting that shade into my crease, but not like in depth into my crease, just right above the top of it. with windshield wiper motions. And then around the inner corners and the outer corners, I'll kind of do a circular motion. Take some, add some off. I'd rather put on too little and have to keep adding than put on too much and have to try to blend it out. And I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna pat it on the outside. and then bring it around and then pat it on the inside as well. We're gonna go back into that M504 brush with that color Cano from the Warrior palette. Just touch up the top. We want that transition to be smooth like that. Not too much, not too much. Now I'm going back into the Saharan Blush Palette on a Morphe M573 brush into the shade Abby. A B. I'm a B, I'm a B, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a B. Nah, for it. <laughs> I'm just going to build up the intensity on the outer corner. Like so. And then just sweep it inward like a press down and a flick. And then I'm gonna start working on the crease. Just the tip of the brush. 
And this is like into the crease. Windshield wiper emotions. Got those windshield wiper emotions. And pat on the inner corner as well. Now I'm gonna go back into that Makeup Revolution shade in C12 and my Coastal Scents Concealer Brush. Press it out a little bit, form that shape. And then I'm going to cut a crease, raising my brows, and I'm going right above my crease. And I'm starting right at the corner of my eye right here. It's where I'm gonna start that, that, that curvature. See what I'm talking about if you're doing it this way it's it's a lot of different ways to cut your crease but for me I find that this is probably the easiest way now I'm gonna go back into that neo shade which is the second shade that we put on and I'm gonna pat it into my outer crease and kind of fan it inward just to soften up that um that cut crease line that we just did. And I'm going back into Abby, Abby. I'm flicking it with the elf professional defining eye brush it's like a slanted brush and i'm going back into the warrior palette i'm going to go into the shade uh, oh wow a hoosie a hosey damn i wish they would put like you know how sometimes you'd be looking up how to say a word on google and it'll break it down for you i wish they gave like a little pamphlet like that that would be great and i'm just tapping that a little bit at a time. I kind of wish that this wasn't like a fluffy brush. So if you have like a like an angled brush that isn't fluffy, this that use that one. It, that would be perfect. What it is that we're trying to do here. You really want to pat it in. So that you don't get all creasy. Cause them creases be coming full speed, honey. I swear. And it's by the brand Kivanji, which is a brush brand that I got from Amazon, which are really good. It was like my starter brushes before I started like spending my money on Morphe, which is actually pretty expensive. And it comes in a set. So I'll put this in the description box below as well so that y'all can go pick this up. Very good beginner brushes. And I'm just gonna take, oh, I didn't even tell y'all what color this was. That's the Haran Blush Palette and it's called Toby. And I'm just packing that on. Back and forth motions, pressing it in, small pats. With no extra, ouch, I keep hitting my knee. <laughs> With no extra product added, I'm just gonna go back into those shades and start, you know, softening up the edges so that it doesn't look like orange, white, brown, or purple brick, whatever this color is. That was that first shade, Neo. This is the second shade, Abby. Now I am going to take that whiter shade on this brush, just a little bit of it though. And I'm gonna pat over, a little bit over that orange, lightly going back and forth over the two shades to blend them together real good. But not too far over because you don't want a white cast on top of that orange. Like so. 
Girl, I know it's fucking cute. I already know shit. Now I'm gonna be going in with the e.l.f. liquid liner. Of course, this is a OG G double OG in the shade Jet Black. Lately, I've only been feeling like outer wings. Like I don't do like a full wing anymore. For one, I'd be scared I'm gonna mess up my whole look. So I just leave it alone. I just leave it alone. For my lashes, I use the Miss 3D Volume Lash in the style M811. And this is what they look like. The glue that I will be using is the Duo Lash Glue. I absolutely love this glue, you guys. Absolutely love it. It goes on white. If you want to know when to apply it, put it on when it starts looking like a bluish clear color. That's when it is the most tackiest. Don't put it on when it's white white because it's just going to slide around. But if y'all been with me long enough, the Rimmel London, this stuff helps my lashes. It's like a serum inside. My natural lashes are long just by using this. So I'm going to put on my lashes and I'm going to be bad we're going to start on face. So over there. Over there. Okay, so now that the lashes are on-ish, I'm kind of still waiting for it to dry, but it's drying enough to move on to the next part. Um, for my face primer, I will be going in with the Too Faced RX Hangover, Hangover RX Face Primer, however you want to say it. This stuff is really, really good. I absolutely love it, and it smells uh amazing oh this little bandana thing is so tight it's giving me a headache it makes the skin like tacky not like sticky but to where you know that your foundation is gonna have something to stick to absolutely adores this so all reliable it is my maybelline fit me dewy and smooth in the shade damn which way does it go in the shade 355 coconut i absolutely love this foundation i actually just built my kit for my clients and every last one of these i have in the dewy i still have to get my mats though but you can make dewy foundation now all you got to do is set it with setting powder and use the matte primer but whatever what ever that ain't what we talking about hopefully i don't get this on my shirt oh and i'm going in with the real techniques 202 the Real Techniques number 202 brush. It is the Instapop face brush. And I'm just patting it into my skin. I'm not wiping or swiping or any of that. Now when I get to the top of the brows, I kind of do like a pat drag type of thing. Just because you do have that lighter concealer there that you did use to carve the brows out earlier. Now I'm looking like a whole orangey orange orange. Just fanning it by my brows. Getting in between there. Mm -hmm. Looking like a grease monkey. Okay. I want to use this Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer, but I used it the other day. And I set it with the Sasha Buttercup, so that made me feel like that was why this didn't do what I needed it to do. Because you know Sasha Buttercup has a yellow undertone, so I'm going to try it again today. Ugh. But I'm going to try it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And we're going to see how that goes. So, here goes nothing. I really do like this concealer. It is really nice. I feel like it's just a tad bit lighter than Fawn. Tad bit lighter. Now I'm gonna go back in with that Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just gonna start patting it in. Ooh, watching this melt together with this brush is just like so like satisfying for me. Oh, it brings me calm. <laughs> now granted, with the brush, it does take a little bit longer. 
but I don't know. Lately, I've been liking the outcome. And I do it around my mouth just because uh, my inner corners of my lips be dark. I don't know what that's about, but it is what it is. A full face of makeup is granted a lot, but who doesn't love the process? Like, girl, some people don't. Makeup is for some people and not for some people, so. Never mind. Take that back. So for contour, I'm going in with the RK by Kiss 3D Contour Artist Cream Kit in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm mixing these two shades on a Morphe brush. It doesn't really say. It's probably like a really fluffy concealer brush. I mean, eyeshadow brush, but you know. You get a brush and you use it for what you want to use it for. I'm just going to start, um, you know, making this uh, five head a more of a four, you know, doing what we do. I'm making this chin a little uh, more not so chinny. Popping this nose down. All of that, all of that, all of that. And now I'm gonna go in with this Ecos Tool Full Setting Brush. And I'm just going to blend that out. Just because a brush has a certain name don't mean you can't use it for something else. serious when I say that. Yeah, I think it was just that Sasha Buttercup, that yellow undertone that it gives that really made me not like this concealer because it looks so fucking good right now. Like, seriously. Like perfect. Like what makeup? Girl, that one. I know I got a cake face. I know. Ugh. Okay, now I'm going to bronze and contour my face. For bronzing, I will be going in with the Queen Collection bronzer in the shade Q120. Per you, giant switch, nothing up, you guys. Same old, same old. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, on a wet and wild angled brush. Small tabs. Okay, now I'm going in with my True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. I totally need a new one of these because I'm reaching pan on all of them except for this one because I don't really use it. I don't know, it seemed a little light for me to use. But you know, whatever. Whatever. And I'm going to pinch the brush. See how it's like really puffed out, fluffed right now? I'm going to pinch it like that. And it's going to give it that chiseled nose. Oh, look at that. Oh, look like I'm going, but I'm not. <laughs> and now for my nose, I'm going to try out this sculpt shade because it says that it's for the forehead, the brow bone, the bridge of the nose, the cheeks, and the cupid's bow. So let's see. Oh Lord, I hate trying new things. Oh, maybe we got something here. Right side, right side, right side. Oh Lord, I just tapped into the contour shade. So for my blush, I'm gonna be going into this. I really wish I could find out who owns this palette. But it's nameless and I just love it. This is my favorite. I wish I could tell y'all who this is by or where it's from, but I just, I don't know when I got it from my mom. Oh, going on with my flamingo brush. I tap into these two middle shades, boom, 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 boom. 
I'm just tapping it on. Okay, flamingo shit, don't take my fucking lash off. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's tough, I messed it up. A little bit on the tip of my nose. I just love a little nose blush. Ugh, I'm blushing. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the Morphe M421 brush and I'm gonna go back into whoop, the Warrior palette by Juvia's. I'm gonna grab that transition shade, Cano. I'm gonna pop in this on the lower. I have a piece of hair. Okay, so I'm bragging on this um, little battery thing. And it ended up dying. But it lasts way longer than it normally do. Um, so I'm trying to rush now. I'm going in with the Hangover RX 3-in-1. I really like to set my makeup. Because I work overnight and I'm wearing it today. Mmm. Melt, baby, melt. So we're going in with Oh Reliable, Laura Geller, Gilded Honey. On another setting brush, a Real Technique setting brush. So I'm gonna go in with my JCAT Skinny Long Eye Pencil. Come on, y'all, y'all know what it is. And the color Seal Brown. Wonderful. Then I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay lipstick in the shade 1993. I'm gonna plop that on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bottom mascara and we are done, babies. Ha! Oh my gosh, back at it again. Back at it. In the kitchen, whipping, I'm rapping again. Whip it.